people of the internet. I really hope you can hear me right now. volume. This is everything is new, so I'm yet to figure out what to do. Uh, can you hear me uh, over? How's the, the mic volume? How's the uh, system volume? This is not a mod player. This is, in fact, an AdLib tracker player. tunes here. The music seems a bit loud. Alright, so let's see. Oh man, I have one of those keyboards that lights up but it doesn't show the function buttons. So I gotta use a shortcut for the floor of the volume right here. How did I get the money to buy the new rig? I got a new job. And I saved up some money. It wasn't that much. In fact, I spent a total of $700. The name of the file manager is Norton Commander. Is, is the volume better now? Also, the microphone is now on my face versus on my desk, so hopefully it won't cut out. And my internet is also a bit... Can't uh, talk about its stability, but, you know, hopefully the, uh, the uploading rate is a bit faster, so I can actually, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm streaming at uh, 720. Um, uh, so, you know, let me know what happens. I, I have no way to judge successful or not. But what I thought about doing today is since I got a new rig and everything and uh, uh, you know Dustbox is not, Dustbox still uses only uh, one processor core so you know having like this multi, uh, uh, having like the uh, multi-core system doesn't really help it much but it will help with streaming up this thing and, and all that stuff. So, I was gonna do what I was gonna do for at least for a little bit before settling with maybe on the game is uh, like I always said before I can't stream or capture more resource heavy games right so I wanted to try out uh, a few um, games that are a bit more demanding from the late DOS era and see how they would function um, and the first on the agenda let's try it the Russian voxel first-person shooter Czar, now available on Steam, thanks to uh, Night Dive Studios, it was developed uh, by Maddox Games of Ill2 fame and published by Oric Vision, which is was just a different foreign uh, company uh, established by Oleg Maddox. This game is not particularly good, the multiplayer is fun and single player that than single player, it's like one of the first instances of that happening. But it has a pretty cool tech, as you can see. Alright, so it runs, for me, it runs pretty well. Uh, let's do this. Uh, 
I guess that's too easy. Yeah, so basically the mission is always display, destroy everything. And get into the teleporter. Uh, I can barely hear the... Oops. I can be barely hear the sound from the game, so... You tell me if... Uh, if... Uh, if it's good or not. So yeah, you have fall damage, you have debris damage, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna be all over the place with this, but... You know, it's cool to see some voxels. You also have no melee weapon. I'm going straight to the negatives. But, uh... You guys hear the music? The game actually has decent music. I put one of the tunes in one of my awesome games on this podcast. And everything is made out of sprites, but they did a good job, uh, you know, rendering the amount of angles you can tell. So things look fairly 3D-ish. Let's get some uh, enemies. And each of the um, each of the levels has a different palette. So quiet in the chat. I don't know if I like lost the connection or what, but I hope not. But yeah. Uh, and the multiplayer in this game is a lot more fun because you can have those balance of like different types of uh, I guess uh, I don't know what you call it. Machinery and whatnot. But single player gets boring quick because it's super repetitive. Or it's just nobody's watching. <laughs> Instead of being in awe. But you know, Russians do make interesting games every once in a while. Where is everything? I should have played on normal, there's like no enemies. Dum de dum de dum. And yeah, the maps are fairly small, if you could tell. If you can tell. Like they loop. Where are all the enemies? Jeez. But this looks good to you guys, right? I can't tell uh, the connection. If the connection is good, but this is 640 by 480. Well, obviously stretched to 1080p, and I guess being streamed in uh, 720. And if it looks good on your end, I'm pretty happy. I would be more happy if I could like hit an enemy. Where are all the enemies? Jeez. <laughs> oh yeah, you can go underwater. Hmm. <laughs> Shh, streaming. Uh huh. I did. I was supposed to destroy this. Okay, so. Now I just had to test my um, test my uh, what you call it microphone on and off button. So please let me know that you can still hear me. I forgot what all my shortcuts were because now I'm using. Uh, you know, this is a full screen thing, like the uh, this version of uh, Open uh, Broadcast Studio refuses to capture dust box in the window for some reason. Uh, so I kind of, you know, I, I can have a chat and, and the status of my stream and game on the same thing, but it will, it will capture it on full screen, for some reason it won't capture it in, uh, in... Oh my god, this game is so boring! I just wanted to show you how, how different the levels are. I'm 
so boring. I should have been playing Mad Space. Mad Space is another game that I can show from the same year by the same company, and it's like a totally different game. Okay, so so far so good. So I guess my video is good, my uh, everything is good, and uh, the audio is good, and there is no. This is what I like to hear. This is so boring. Three left. Okay, this is it. Yeah, you can get hit by those debris. See the debris? Like, you can get... See, like, I'm getting damaged. And the explosions hurt you, and everything else hurts you. It makes... And there's full damage. The music is good in this game, but it's a lot... I should have played on normal. Like, there's normally a whole bunch of enemies here. I don't know why I picked these. So, what a world. Hey, I remember that one. So, yeah, mission on the second planet is um, the same, just straight over it. So see, like, and the whole entire palette has been switched off. Um, it's, um, how do I put it? Like, even, uh, uh, like, now it's all this whole desert theme and stuff. And that. Let's get the jumping guy. The levels are all kind of empty. Like, this is... Downfall of this game. But you can see, like, they rendered those things from like quite a few angles to give you the. Um, the, the whatchamacallit. The th proper 3D perspective. Okay, here's mines. Then basically explode contact and. Alright, where are those guys? <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy with the performance. It's no slowdown on my end. See the damage and the so it's a, it's a interesting from a technical standpoint. It's a cool game, but it's literally just like a tech demo, with like a bunch of um, levels. And uh, finally enough, I actually own one of the rarest things I own uh, physically. I have the expansion for this game from 1999, and I remember. Uh, well, maybe the situation has changed, but I remember years ago when I posted a picture on the internet, uh, claim from Lazy Game Reviews was like, oh, that thing actually exists? Like, I only saw pictures of it, and it's true, like, I mean, nobody cared about the expansion for this game. Yay, okay, so. Now you get the idea, right? So here is the well. Okay. After next level, I'll just show off how this is going to be a Mars. No. Oh, this is actually a pretty good-looking level. I always liked it. Let me take another sip. And the best music too. I hope you guys can hear. You see, they have the little shadows here. So it's it's pretty cool. There's a robot on my side. And now I have to destroy them because this is like the best music in the game. Probably one of the best looking levels in the game. So, like this is the true power of voxels doing those like landscapes with mountains. And bam! And because this level is so appealing to look at, um, <laughs> it's, it's also like a bit more entertaining. It's funny, but the add-on that I told you about also comes with like a whole bunch of different versions of the game and like two of them are the OpenGL and the and the uh, uh, Direct 3D versions and, uh, at that point it, it's probably it's a bit funny but like those versions swap out the voxels for polygons they generate you know height maps from from the same sort of uh, uh, Bitmaps. Thoughts on Ernest Klein. I don't know who that is. Name does not ring a bell. 
Um, so yeah, but like, there's almost no point in playing this. Like, this is swapped out for polygons. Fall damage in this game sucks. There's also like a like a, the this, the jump that I'm doing right now is the um uh, the what should I call it <laughs> the uh, uh, is a small is a, is a, is a sort of light jump. Ernest goes to camp. Which one is the one with the evil Ernest? With the evil rapey Ernest. Uh, so, yeah. I wonder what was like recorded like this is gonna come out of nowhere. You can't see the chat in the, in the archived version. Oh, well. uh, look at those landscapes. Voxels, as far as I can see. Where are the enemies? Why am I playing on easy? I think I should play some of that uh, new do. Stream a bit of new do. That, that I don't got bored of halfway through. Oh, ooh. and one of us. There's that guy. Also, almost like all of the weapons arc. It's really. Are there any earnest dust games? I don't think so. And winning. Okay, so let me just show you a piece of my style and we'll move on, we'll move on, on to the next demanding game. I'm trying to figure out which one could be, um, let's say Quake, right? Quake is probably a pretty good uh, example of a demanding game and you're gonna see my desktop here. I have nothing to hide because again, I'm playing on full screen so I'm switch off. Alright, so this worked out well, right guys? But yeah, like I said, this game is available on Steam. But it's only really fun in multiplayer. To be honest with you. But... Okay. Let's quit. Oh no, what is all this? Uh, I should... Let's see. Do I have? I do. Or I do not. Oh well. Let's see what's uh, what's um, what's going on with Quake here. And then maybe I should try Quake too. The the new dust. I forgot to my Wow, that runs. That ran super fast. Did you see that? Holy crap! I'm like, I didn't see that coming. I should have put the CD music in. Looks good to me. <laughs> Let me know about the frame rate and all that. <laughs> hmm. Now I'm I'm having weird scrolls because I have frame skips. <laughs> and, uh, having like this weird. Issues where it's trying to compensate. It's a bit uneven here.
without music is not quite quick, right? But at least I know that he runs This is not VGA, this is in fact SVGA Quake. Which system is it playing on? I mean, it's the Dust Emulator. This is Vanilla Quake. seems to function quite well. Oh, I love that wobbly effect. It is not hardware, so... What the resolution is this? This is like bother. 640 by 480, that's weird. Quick still looks kind of good, right? The uh, yeah, why am I why am I all of a I'm like silent. Ask questions, guys. Talk to me about those games. I'm like, oh, I'm playing Quick. Quick sucks. Play Doom. I think both of those games kind of rock. I prefer Doom. I'll take Doom over Quake, but Quake is a, an amazing game. A game like no other. And uh, pretty much the last of the first-person shooters with them. True abstract level design. Oh. I'm not gonna be much about this. Come on, where are you? Where are you, son of a bitch? Well, I'm gonna say this is a success as well. This runs really well. Uh, this is a bit more sort of a uh, what should we call it? Uh, the palette is a bit more tame here, so. This compresses well over the internet, let me know if it does or doesn't. So, I think the next game I'm going to is maybe Blood. Isn't it funny? Like, remember the first time you played Quake? Like, I essentially played Doom and Quake both on. Uh. On. 
What a pilot, essentially. I love those sound effects. Oh, I forget this guy, like, fuck that or something. I know why I did that. Oh, yeah. Sounds too high, voice low. It's probably just my voice. I can barely hear the sound. This is the thing. This is my new headset doesn't have an active uh, slider. Uh, active volume slider. So, so like <laughs> I can barely hear the gear right now. Really? Son of a bitch. Okay, let's see here. How about this? Good, not good. the game about now it's not that we'll have to I guess I'll have to switch really hold it still even right now like when I'm shooting it's inaudible Because I really don't want to make the game so... But again, this is a success, right? I declare this uh, a success. Let's see, desktop audio. Let's do half. But I'm actually going to do like 30 on my end. So I can at least hear the game. <laughs> okay, so let's... I don't know. Let's do this. Right? And the next game, let's see, I can do blood and to add additional hardship for the dust box, I'm gonna um, make it play CD music. Hello, Windows 10, please take no action. Um, and for that, I will need to change string. I want to change. Um, to visa, no, that was because that's what Build Engine likes. Can I play Dangerous Dan? Have you played Dark Places Engine with with with, uh, with HD textures? I play Quake in, with with Dark Places normally, but not with HD textures. So there's nothing um, I hate more than the fan-made uh, high definition texture packs okay you guys tell me how loud this is going to be because we're going to then we're just going to keep uh, exiting in and out and here's a little bit of unevenness can you hear me over the game The Blue File Explorer is called Norton Commander. It's been around for 31 years. Look it up. Okay, so how's the voice? Okay, now you can hear the game. Great. Okay, so... Okay, let's try this. Now the game is mute. If 
Okay, so this obviously, well, this is going to screw up the game a little bit, but... Okay, let's see here. Bum 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 bum, that's nostalgia behind the scenes. How about now? Or... now. I'll have to restart this box, but... Can you hear me when I shoot? This is the important part. And don't say yes in the chat, because you guys enjoy say yes, hear you when you shoot. Okay, everybody says yes. <laughs> but like, can you hear the game or just a little bit? Alright, this is what it's going to be from now on. Actually, in fact, you know what? I'm going to put the volume to where I normally have it in Windows. And... Why am I even doing this? Okay. Take two on blood. Blood. See, blood would run a lot faster if it didn't need to stream the audio of the CD, but since I'm testing the performance... Um... This is going to be it. After that, I'm going to try probably one more demanding game. Um, and uh, this is perfect. Great, because this is perfect for me. Now I'm probably going to speak a bit louder because. Like, the game is really loud in my ears. Yeah, Blood has a pretty great soundtrack. Oh, shit. Open for business. Don't get up. Okay. Yeah, I love blood. I would love a modern port. So, <laughs> blood is also fairly demanding game. Um, because it demands your attention. I do love those things. Ooh. And I love the references. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, you sons of bitches. Out, out, out damn spot. So, how does this work? So basically, so now I have the the audio straightened out and the video from one of the more demanding build engine games, although like I'd say something like World War II GI is a lot more demanding. I do love the physics in this in this game, which is nothing like the one in, like, let's say... <laughs> in, um... Duke Nukem 3D or Red Redneck, Redneck Rampage, or even Shadow Warrior, I'd say. Uh, the Q team really only used to build engine for like graphics and levels and like didn't really borrow anything from Duke which uh fun well fun not 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 very fun but an interesting piece of 
trivia, if you download the leaked blood um, alpha, there's all kinds of... there's an email that's included that has all kinds of like internal problems with the project listed in it between the Q team and 3D Realms. I'm wasting my ammo here. Ah. Wow, I'm so dead. Ah, huh, forgot how to play this game properly. It's been a while. some health. Come on. Oh boy. <sighs> ah, okay. Well, let me get my ass kicked as the hound tape on film, on whatever. Okay, so I'd say this worked out pretty well, right? Um, to whoever is watching. Um, uh, okay, so which which other demands in game I should try? Well, I think it should be Carmageddon. Right, that's a pretty demanding game. Let's see. Funnily enough, I just played the, the new Carmageddon for the first time today, after backing it on Kickstarter a few years ago. And um, I like it. I like Carmageddon Reincarnation. I really do. Uh, I should probably switch back. Uh, Carmageddon for phones is really good. I really love that port. So I'm going to be playing the software version, not the hardware accelerated glide version. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is this game is going to be loud. So let's see how the settings really. R. Can I skip any of this? Of course not. Oh, oh mouse click. How oh, interesting. Now. I'm not a big fan of Carmageddon 2 for some reason. Despite it being pretty much entirely the same game, it's just something about the low poly. Um, uh, low poly pedestrians is. Mm, oh, here we get some choking up. Let's see how this works out. I'm good as I am. Five, four, hey, you! <laughs> All right. Yeah, what's funny is Carmageddon actually provides the support for high resolution. You can start with a parameter and we'll actually start in the software mode. Oh boy. But... Uh, but yeah, so but it's like impossible to play on any dust machine, even like on the Pinium. It, it didn't really work that well. 
played. I just played the remake of that map today. Where is the stadium? Oh yeah, it's here. And... Alright, so let me know how... how this looks and how it sounds. And after that, maybe... Maybe we can try something different. Maybe something for like Windows 3.1. Well, I'm glad that this is working out. This is giving me, uh... This is... <laughs> this is giving me hope that I can actually stream decently. Yeah, I love Carmageddon. But yeah, I am pleasantly surprised by Carmageddon Reincarnation. I might play it a little bit more later. I'm yet to unlock another... Maybe you can try get GTA London? I mean, I can, I guess. Yeah, you know what, let's try GTA after this and see what happens. The stutter is probably due to my internet. My internet is highly unstable. But at least it's not like cutting in and out like that one time. Hmm. Well, this works. So. Instead of um, GTA. Uh. Let's see um, if we can do something interesting. Oh, wow, well, I've been going for almost an hour. Uh, let's... Uh, let's see if we can do this. So this is my current... Um, as you can see, this is my Windows 3.1. 3.11, I've upgraded. Uh, thing. So one of my favorite games of all time is um, The Dark Eye by the company called Inkscape, which is a, I guess, point-and-click adventure. But in reality, I think these days it would be referred to as a walking simulator. It's very linear with minimum of interaction, um, sort of just essentially, essentially and uh, 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 what should we call it? Uh, Hi, Michael. Long time no talk. How have you been? Um, yeah, so essentially it's a just sort of interactive storybook based on Edgar Allan Poe, but it's made with so much style and uses three of his stories as bases. And for... Uh, well, you know what? Let me just start it and let's see what happens. Oh, yes. I think my... Let's exit this because I will, I will need to switch to uh, 64 thousand colors instead of 256 and let me oh actually oops please don't crash you guys can still see me all right what's going on here Okay, let me save the settings, and now we can restart. What games hide in the Westwood folder? Uh, on the desktop? I really don't remember. Uh, where's Westwood? Westwood, Westwood, Westwood. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, it's there. It's a Monopoly. My favorite version of Monopoly. It's great. No, you're not. I actually do have a webcam that I can enable, but I disabled it because I look like shit today, so... 
none of that. Okay, so back to the Dark Eye, to the Edgar Allan Poe game. It's great. And uh, <laughs> Doggy is the uh, Doggy is the uh, uh, WinG test program. Like it's a draw, it draws a sprite of a balloon dog. I do love this intro. Very moody, even though it sounds a little bit like the Phantasm theme. I recommend this game highly. I don't think this is actually. If I played this when I just when when I started streaming today. I probably could have finished the whole game in like hour and a half, two hours. Um, but since I'm not doing that, uh, it's um, uh, you know I'll play a little for bit. It's really cool. Which I'm about to tell. It's really cool horror I game. Expect nor ask for belief. And the gameplay department is very simple and primitive, but yet it has so much style. Yet I'm not mad. Um, and I surely do not dream. It just makes up for everything else. And of course, the the claymation puppets are creepy. The puppets are made by one of the guys who did the special effects for Aliens. That's James Cameron's Aliens, obviously. Happy oh, Alien yeah. Day, everybody. And um, uh, uh, William S. Burroughs uh, voices one of the characters, um, Uncle Edwin. There you are. If you know who it is. You know how cool this is. If you don't know who it is, look it up. I'm so glad you came. I find that the pleasant this overarching story, uh, called Malevolence, is not um, based on any of the Poe's writings, but uh, very Poe-like. Here's a bit of a foreshadowing. Careful. I use a special filler. The fumes can do all sort of damage to you. A painter I knew fairly went mad from it. Poor soul. He scratched out his old eyes in a fit of frenzy. His own eyes. <laughs> yeah. Just watch as you keep the windows open. It's a pastime of mine. By keeping my mind occupied, I attempt to dispel some of the constitutional agitation which afflicts me. I have a surprise. Your brother Henry is here. He's upstairs visiting with the least even now. Yes, yeah, so uh, the music is done by Thomas Dolby, who some of you might know from she blinds me with science and uh yeah it's a it's this game is cool as all hell like i really like it. it's one of my favorites what a delightful time that was computer products of the 90s you've come oh we're so happy with your brother you know made by not like games you. people Please, and you can clearly us. um see it but Henry, this is sort of, the, to me, this is done me. right. Uh, amongst the many Everywhere. games made with Macromedia as director, this is really, like, stands out as... But my travels are over. ...as something super cool. I'm ready to settle down. And uh, we're going to have our first... How yep. did you find Uncle Edwin? Yeah, this is kind of where they give up on, on actually properly anim animating, animating things. I think they actually filmed the whole... Are you unwell? actual full animated good. frames but they eventually realized they wouldn't be able to, to keep them all on the CD and um, and yeah so this is the actual the main uh, game device here is periodically you enter those trances and you get to uh, sort of wander around the house and find special objects there's one of them in, in this room uh, right here these are 
your keys to Edgar Allan Poe's stories that you can play. This is the Casco of Amontillado, and you have to play um, both versions of the story. If you play, if if you select the bottle, you play as uh, Montresor, and if you select the cup, you play as Fortunato. There's also the other stories are. Um, uh, Telltale Heart, obviously, and uh, Bernice. Um, maybe I should do the Telltale Heart. And also, if you go here, uh, uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should. Basically, if you go here in this room, um, if you use this area, you get a full. Uh, uh, reading of um, uh, what should I call it? Of uh, uh, Annabelle Lee by William Burroughs. And later in the game, when they unlock the basement, you can go in the basement, and uh, you can um, uh, what should I call it? Uh, you can uh, hear the entire reading of the <laughs> William Burroughs reads the entirety of the Mask of the Red Death. In it, but uh, I think we should do Telltale Heart as a story everybody's familiar with, right? Like it's weird, like Telltale Heart, everybody knows. Uh, Casco Amontillado to and like Bernice was selected as a th third story. They're very similar, but Bernice is like three pages long. Um, but let's do uh, the Casco Amontillado. So obviously, if you select the butcher's knife. You play as a young man, and if you uh, select the fish, you play as a old man. So let's do that. By the way, I'm not clicking, you just sort of wave your hand over it. And here sometimes the sound glitches out so the transition is not very seamless. Yeah, like here there's supposed to be sound. Again, I apologize if my internet is freaking out, but nothing I can do about it right now. True. Nervous. Very, very, very dreadfully, dreadfully nervous. nervous. I admit I am. <laughs> but why do people say that I am mad? These are really good adaptations of Poe's stories. There's some raven here. So essentially, the gameplay is like you wander around until things happen. I don't you... want his money. You look as though you could use some hot soup. I do love those designs. You know, in the nineties, it was so hard to do like decent acts and decent animation, decent three D renders in this game, and yet this little company managed to achieve this. I I really really like it. We get a little bit of other pull reference here with the uh, buried alive. He's done me no harm. Again, no clicking. I just wave my hand over it. Him that makes my blood run cold. <gasps> Here's one of those features where you can switch parts. Never do it. <laughs> just don't do it. Only if you enter the story by mistake. It's cooling. He's done me no harm. This would be good as a sort of a Remade thing. 
I forget what to do. I can't go into his room, I don't think, while he's at the table. Can you lose the game? Uh, no, you cannot lose the game. Okay, this isn't really about winning or losing. What can happen is sometimes it glitches out and the triggers don't. He's done me no harm. Um, they don't work. I don't ever remember it being in this room. Do I have to look in the mirror? See, I'm already kind of. Uh, this is not here. Is there a mirror here? Uh -huh, uh -huh. This will come to play later. It's here we go. Eight. Well, no, I mean, if I love the old man, the the entirety of the game was released. It's not like you know you would have to reconstruct the whole game if you wanted to remake this. There we go. Good night, young man. Good night. Good night. Somebody mentioned this uh, uh, earlier, and uh, yes, uh, uh, Agustin uh, Cordes, the creator of Scratches, is a, is, is a pretty big fan of this game. People fancy me mad. Mad men know nothing but me. I proceed. With wisdom. With caution. With foresight. You'd have to be a very profound old man indeed to suspect that every night just at I don't even feel like talking over this. This is really good. I look in on him while he sleeps. Stealthily. Really? I don't think so. It's right there. I can see it. Well, off I go. And it's the morning again, and a day and the night. There's a young man just like stare at his window. They don't want us to do the clock the second time. That's good. Here I am, opening the door little by little, and he doesn't even... It's really maybe once, maybe when you are playing, is it doesn't really come through because it's such a limited thing, it's like watching a cartoon. But but in reality, when you the little that you do get to play of this. Like when you're playing it, this this wins out so much by being interactive. As little interaction as there is, it really puts you in that sort of interesting sort of mood. It's pretty creepy. I know that groan. It's the low sound that rises from the bottom of the soul when charged with mortal terror. Wails up from my own bosom, deepening with its dreadful echo the terrors that distract me. Yes, I know it well. Oh. Poor old man. 
He's been lying awake ever since that first novel. This one is for Stu in the chat. He's trying to fancy them causeless, but he cannot. Because death stalked him with his black shadow before him as he enveloped the victim. Surely it will burst. What if? What if a neighbor should hear it? <laughs> there. No more. What's that? <laughs> yeah, the acting is really good. Like, I think they would want to talk yeah. over this. What shall I do with the body? Remember, this is like, this is around the same time the you know, Capcom was doing the the Jill sandwich. I worked hastily, but in silence. So, so I yeah. Almost there. I hope everybody in chat, or at least most of you, have read the actual story. This is, again, a really good adaptation. Oh, you can actually do other things, like check out his uh, treasure. The book. Let's check out the book. I got a bit of a thing here, and I guess oh, we can take we can check out the uh, picture of a wife. Oh well, all right. So let's pick this up. Yeah, this is as much interactivity as this game allows, and yet it's 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 very compelling actually, like it's fun to play. There, all deposited neatly between the scatlings. Replaced so cunningly, no human eye, not, not even, even his, could detect anything wrong. Nothing to wash out. No blood spot whatever. All has been caught in a tub. <laughs> I do like that performance. I like all the actors in the game. Uh oh. Oh no. Sorry to disturb you, sir, but somebody or other heard a scream or some such called us up. We've got to check these things out. What are you doing awake at this hour? That'll do, <laughs> Finley. I do like the animation and the designs. Do come in, please, do. Well, what about the scream, Sarge? Oh, <laughs> the screams, huh? What do you know about anything like that?
That was I, Sergeant, I called out in a nightmare. I'm given to nervous fits. A gentle man like yourself? Well, what about the old man that lives here? Finley! Gone to the country. Yeah, but Cinemassacre cinematic streams like three times a week. I, I don't, uh... Uh-oh. Might we be looking about a bit? Uh, but I don't stream that often. Not yet, but now that I know that everything works and everything's fine and I get no slowdown, and hopefully maybe I'll fix up my internet a little bit. I also feel, think that Windows 10, like none of my devices get off the network as often as uh, as my Windows 10 machine. So I think it's maybe uh, like a driver issue or... Check or, over there. Or... The stove as well. Uh, something. Some it's of the done. settings. It just somehow loses the connection. But you'll want especially to look into the old man's room. Yes, look particularly here. This game does a lot with always... sound, like watch it. Sorry. It's just a differently lit room here, but sit, sit, all of you. Do Don't mind if I do. Of course, they don't suspect me. My manner has assuaged them. Indeed, they are delightful. And it's funny, when you read those stories, because they're so full of narration and everything, you don't think that they would be so... It's been a long day. This is a good translation into the interactive media. He keeps his treasure in that drawer there. I think it's also pretty good symbiosis of the pre-rendered 3D things and those puppets. I don't think they sort of uh, stand out too much. Oh, it's a lovely night, though. Generally, it's because Stars it goes for a weird feeling. I think it works really well. Well, those faces are scary. To be in order. Don't go. No, stay. Stay Sit a moment. moment. Rest yourselves. yourselves. From, From your various fatigues. Be. I do love that. And Oh, my head, and what is that annoying ringing in my ears? Will they never be gone, and that ringing? But wait, it's not in my ears, it's... Oh my God! Can't they hear it? No. I'm safe. If only they'll leave. They must hear it. They must. And still. How is it they don't hear it? They hear. They suspect. They know. They're mocking me. Villains. Cruel villains. Stop. Stop. I admit it. I confess! Tear up the planks! Here! Here! It is the beating of his hideous heart! <laughs> I do like this quite a lot. Um, I think this is actually enough for this. I, uh, I could have probably played the whole thing. It must have been a dream. But the whole thing. But I do recommend this game a lot. A haunting dream. I don't know if, if, if you couldn't tell. I was glad to find myself back in Edwin's silent home. And yeah, so you basically, in between these stories, and each one you have to, you actually can play this game as the old man as well, which there isn't much to do but go to sleep and then die. So the victim side is never that interesting, really. Except for maybe, uh, uh, except for maybe uh, uh, Bernice. Uh, but yeah, so I recommend this game. I love it. These are all the pieces of the stories. Like, we unlocked this, but there's all of these things too. I recommend it. Well, I'm glad that all of you stopped by. Thank you very much uh, for stopping by. And I'm glad that this works. Uh, I've tested my webcam before, so. Uh, Next time, maybe um, 
you know, once I figure out if, if uh, uh, OBS will let me capture a window, I might be able to fit in a chat, the chat and my ugly face in the video feed. But for now, things seem to work uh, as they are. So, uh, thank you very much to everybody uh, who stopped by. Um, I'm glad this all worked out. And, uh, you know, pop up, you know, pop up, uh, sort of, uh, uh, what should we call it? The, uh, let me know what other games you would like me to stream on Twitter, what games are short, sort of, and I can maybe finish them uh, during the stream or something like that. Alrighty, thank you very much once again, and good night, everybody.